Hello, and welcome back to the grind. Yeah, so, uh, Porsche 924, 1979. Now, I had lots of uh, going back and forth and back and forth with the brakes in this car because the master cylinder on it was, you know, you can't get a rebuild kit for it. And a new one was $800 or something USA. And that's pretty expensive. So what I did, I re, like I took apart the master cylinder, cleaned it all out, used the same rubbers in there again. But when I put my foot on the brakes, I just wasn't quite happy with it. So what I've done now is I've got a uh, 924 master cylinder and no, 9, 944 master cylinder, and I've installed that into it. it. Some of the plumbing's just a bit different, but it seems to work okay. I might have it uh, backwards. I might have too much going to the back brakes and not enough to the front brakes. So I might just change that around in the future, but that's for a later time. I, feels good and the brakes work and they stay solid and nice like it's a nice brake pedal so we're happy with it and now this is kind of a time warp thing because I started working on it about a month ago and then finally the parts arrived from here and there and everywhere eBay it takes a while for eBay stuff to get up to this part of the world so I've uh, fixed it up I think we're set to go and uh, I'm going to see if I can get a MVI for it next week sometime. Or before. We'll see. Anyway, hope you enjoy it all and uh, stick around. You'll see what, see what happened. Yeah, so here I am. Another, start another week. Or it's actually Wednesday already. Tuesday. No, it's Tuesday. Anyway, this... Uh, the saw I headed over, the mill I headed over at the neighbor's place doing a bunch of milling. Didn't film any of that because it's, you know, once you see it once, you've seen it a thousand times. So, the uh, same with Porsche's 924, but I kind of like filming these things. So today I'll pull it out of here. Put it back in the, look at that bird poop right on my Porsche. I'll put it back in the, uh, in the big shop and I've got... Or the little shop master cylinder for it but first I think I have to clean up a bit in in my shop clean up on aisle nine right it's not not too bad so I put the uh, block over here out of the way for the TR7 I'll clean up that oil on the floor there and oh yeah I meant to bring the garbage can down so I can empty the Empty that and empty that. Anyway, I'll go and get them and do that. So that's, uh, I'll get back to you when I get the car in here. See you then. I did get a comment on my uh, YouTube channel that says, uh, messiest shop ever. And oh, I gotta admit, it is a contender for that. Anyway, if I had a bigger shop, I'd have more junk. And if I had, a, if I had more junk, I'd be messier than this. So anyway, that's me. So I'll bring in the uh, 924 and see if I can get the brakes to work properly. Oop. Yeah, here it is back in the shop. And uh, so when I headed out, I headed in the hot sun. And sadly, this, my my uh, vinyl didn't, it unstuck itself in a, anywhere where it was stretched hard. So might have to go back to the drawing board on that we'll just think about it a bit and then I'll I'll try and get it fixed up anyway otherwise all seems to be okay so I'll start working on the uh, start working on the brake master cylinder here it is here So I'll get that out of there and see if I can get it. That's the timing chain from the Triumph. Hmm. I should do something about that. Oh, it comes with a few bits here. Don't know what these bits are for, but we'll find a spot for them. Okay. 
I'll uh, get the car up on a lift and just make it at a comfortable height. One brake line here, that's for front, is it? Yeah, I don't know. Don't know where these lines go. Anyway, that brake line, that brake line, three brake lines on it, one, two, three. Then there's a bolt on, into the uh, thing here, into the, what do you call that? A booster. Into the booster there, and another bolt on the other side. So there, these ones 11 millimeters, Those that one looks like a half inch, 13 millimeters. Then there's two electrical connections for brake down here. I'll pull that off and then get the electrical connections off when I bring it out of there. This plastic bit, the uh, reservoir, I'll take that off over on the bench, but I'll put the new um, oh, master cylinder on and then put the reservoir on top after I get everything put together. It's easier that way, I think. Anyway, I'll carry on. Yeah, so there, it's out. It just came out fairly, fairly easy. You just undo those two bolts. Now, I don't know whether that was brake fluid leaking in there or just from when I was taking it apart. Can't tell. I think it was just when I was taking it apart because it doesn't look like it's leaking at the other side. But, yeah, I never know. Yeah, never know. Hey. Like it didn't look like it was leaking down here anywhere. So, hmm, might be okay. Anyway, I'll get it apart. Well, first of all, so I can see if it may be the same, right? Before I take it apart anymore, I'll check and see if it's the same. We're close to it anyhow. Hmm, this one doesn't have the switches for the brakes. Imagine I could use that for a switch and it only has sort of backwards. These two and that one. Oh dear me. It does have the rubber. And it's a different size. Oh. Oh, that's very disappointing. Ah, very disappointing. Oh well. I'll think about it. Yeah, so it will fit. Just take some rejigging. This one here, that should be the back brakes. Hmm. Right? I don't know. I'll have to check the diagram and see how See how I make this work. Like this one, I can make it go into there all right. Then there's a hole up here that I could put the brake switch on, I'm sure. We'll think about it. I'll see what I can come up with. Yeah, it's all very different. Even the uh, reservoir stuff is different, so, hmm, I guess I'll... I may just, I had this apart once before, I think I'll take it apart again and clean it up a bit better again, clean it up a bit more, and then put it back on and just see if I can, I'll have a look at it anyhow, that'll be that. Yeah, so here's all the bits, there's a spring that goes on the front of that, this clippy thing goes on the, before the spring, that's, like that cup looks alright and it feels okay. That cup looks all right, and it feels okay. Maybe I'll just, let's see, this one keeps it coming from backwards, right? 
This one here is the back one. So I'll just clean it up with some brake clean and uh, have a look down the bore here if I can get, a, get my light in there. Have a look. We'll see how things are. Yeah, I have a brake cylinder, like a brake cylinder thing like this thing here. That fits in there. So we'll give it a bit of a go. Hang on, I'll set it up and I'll, I'll show you. Yeah, here we go. I think I did this one other time, but I, it might need a little bit more. It doesn't hurt, so give it some more. And I think I'll put this part into the uh, part cleaner for a little while. Let it, uh, let it cook for a bit. And rinse it out with some water. And then uh, see how things are. I think that's pretty good, eh? Uh, now, kind of get you turned off. Yeah, okay, here's... I put in these rubber grommet things at the top here already. Then, uh, here's all the pieces cleaned. These, uh, that bit there like there's that this holder this keeper here where the spring sits on then there's the rubber and behind the rubber is a uh, little brass washer this is at the back end this goes last but it needs to have this spring put back onto it that's going to be a challenge. Look at that. Screw, that. screw through there. Like that. Don't know if I can do this without knocking everything off the table. here but oh yeah, yeah. I'll have to think of a way to compress that spring hang on yeah so I just went over and held it in the vise and then got the screw started so wasn't that tough after all anyway that's the back part, this bit here goes on the back part right here. It's just a seal to keep stuff from coming backwards out the way. Then the front bit is here. This goes on another one of these keepers. Then the small end of the spring goes on here. And the big end goes in there so I want to put some uh, brake fluid down inside here just to can you see anything down there oh yeah yeah what happened to my light there it is I don't know if you can see down in there or not where are you yeah it looks pretty good down there now in fact it looks really good down there now so hopefully that's going to be okay. Anyhow, we'll get it. I'll get some brake fluid in there. Hang on, I'll do that. Yeah, this will make a mess. I'll just put fingers over these two holes here. Maybe I'll put those. Hang on, I'm going to put those uh, things in there first. I figured I'd measure the bore here so that I know what it is. 
in inside here. And so twenty point seven, twenty point six or point seven millimeters. Yeah, twenty point seven millimeters inside there. I'll see, um, so I know that in case I have to order stuff for it. It's hard to, <laughs> you, you can't tell what size it is until you take it apart, right? And then I forget to measure it last time. I should have measured it last time. Anyway, I put these two things down here. So I'll pour a little bit of fluid in there just to lubricate the sides. And Push that around a bit. Pour a bit down right here. Uh, that went in all right. So now I've got fluid all over everything again. So that's good. Hey. Eh? So this part here goes in first. Right down to the end of it all. This part here goes in second. And then this little nut here holds it all together, right? Holds it from springing back there. And then this part gets jammed in there like that. Uh, first or second? Uh oh. Guess I've got to take it apart because one of these washers goes on each side of that rubber. Oh dear. So. This comes back out. We hope. Oh, come on. Some days, right? My, my own worst enemy, as usual. I'll get a pair of pliers. Now what's going on? Better cover this or else I'll spill it all over the place. this back in, right? Put this nut back into it. Sounds right. Sounds good. Now, you got these two washers, one in then this guy then this one. Got to get compressed down. I think I need to get a uh, socket of some sort. Maybe this do that. Right? Yeah, there. That got it seated. Now, where's my circlip pliers? Oh yeah. Ah. So 
sometimes. They just don't want to cooperate. I know you can't really see what I'm doing here. There. Now I get that seat back in there. Yep, that's in. Now you can tell these things by just giving them a bit of a twist and whoops. Put it in again. Yeah, once so <coughs> if it'll turn, you know that the circlip's in there. So that seems to be how it's supposed to be. Okay. A mess, a mess, a mess, a mess. Now I'll put this on the car. I hope I can get it on the car and then I'll put that part on it, right? First off, I've got to tighten this thing here. Or else that'll be leaking. And that's got a copper washer underneath there. Okay, that's all for this end of it. I'll clean it off a bit and get it into the car. Yeah, there. So, <coughs> two bolts tightened in. Haven't done anything about that's the uh, grommets for the thing for the well, everything. The thing, the reservoir. So I'll put these <coughs> these in, right? And they just slide right into this place. And I'm gonna put some, uh, put the reservoir on, and then put some fluid in it, and I'll just let it sort of bleed out of these things here to make sure that the reservoir is all everything's in the reservoir, right? Am I saying that correctly? I wonder. Anyway, you get the idea, right? Okay, I'll get that on. That one there is not going in very easily. Yeah, there are reservoirs in now too, also. So I'll fill up the reservoir and I'll let these things just bleed out by gravity, I think. We'll just see what happens. Yeah, there I've got my motive here hooked up. It looks like I'm not a complete seal somewhere. I don't know where, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, the, uh, you see that thing bubbling there, eh? So I will uh, open up each one of these little things here and let them, let them bleed out a bit. I don't know if I can get you positioned so you can see that or not. There's three of them, right? Oh, boy, oh, boy. Yeah, right down in there. If that camera will stay there without falling over. You looking at the right spot? Yeah, right there, hey? So I'll just bleed them off a little bit. I'll find an 11 millimeter. This one here first. That lets the air out of the uh, out of the master cylinder, right? And that seems to be out of the air out of that one. Air out of that one. It's a messy job. This this one here. I can't really see it. Oh, I'll hear it. I think. Okay, so that's air all out of the master cylinder is clean, right? We hope. Still, it seems to be leaking air somewhere, likely here somewhere, maybe on that seal there. Yeah. So that. Oops, 
there. This thing you can see bubbles coming here, so that means there's air leaking somewhere in this whole menagerie here. But not, I don't think it's a big problem. So I've got air out of those, right? All three of them. Now I gotta go up and do the wheels. So I'll put the car up and start doing the wheels. You've seen me do that lots of times, but I'll show you again. Yeah, here I'm in the back wheel, right? And I always like to have a little bit of a, a loop above there so I can see if the air bubbles go through, right? Oops. I, I, there's a bubble. Any more bubbles coming? I'll let it run for a little bit more and see. Because it's got to come a long way. This is the first one I've done. And I have let it run for a little bit already. That's the first big bubble that I've seen come out of it. I think that's another bubble going through there now. I think that one there is done. I think we're okay. All right, so I'll move to the other side and do the next one over here. So I can get this one to go. Anyhow, I'll put my arm in the way here for a minute. There it goes. And where it ends, nobody knows. This one here, I shouldn't have to let so much out because, well, who knows? I'm the way that the brake circuits work on this car are pretty funny. They seem to go back and forth and up and down. There's a big bubble coming out. That's lots of bubbles coming out. That'd be that'd be good. Unless I've drained the upper part there, hey? <laughs> I better just check and make sure I haven't drained it out up above. That's good, lots of bubbles there. I've been waiting for that. There, I've got that much out of this brake already, so I'm gonna just let it go a little bit more because there's still lots of, lots of fluid in the reservoir. And I don't see any more bubbles coming. I think we've got that one pretty clean. That's quite a bit of fluid. That's got to be enough fluid in there to get all the way up the lines. Right? Okay. Next is the front side. I have a, yeah, there's a, see there's a drip there. Don't know what that's from yet. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Anyway, I'll let it down and I'll see how the brake feels. Then we'll go from there. Yeah, the brake pedal feels good. So, I'll just watch it and see if it's going to be leaking or not, or what's going on there. But when you hop in, oh, let me get way forward here. I gotta get, gotta get myself pulled into place here, so you can reach the brake. But it feels like and you can't see anything down there. But it feels like a nice solid pedal. Feels better than it did last time, anyhow. So I think there must have been some air in it before that I just hadn't got out of it. Anyhow, that's all for now. We'll see how things work out. I'll I'll let you know as it gets along. The property. See how things are with it. And uh, I did loosen off the alternator and push that washer up out of the way. So maybe that'll stop the tick 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 noise. And then this thing here I've got, I'm going to bring that in here and see about fitting that motor there onto it. We'll uh, see how it happens. Here as I can tell. Lots of oil pressure, voltage is good. At idle it doesn't, uh, like it's around 700 for idle, 700 or 800 when it's cold. I'll let it warm up for a minute and then we'll take it for a spin. Oh, it's all squeezed in here. 
again. Uh, looks like it's pointing all right. Yeah, there, that, it all feels good. Brakes feel good, steering feels good, everything feels good. <laughs> so, no fade in the brakes, like, press the brakes and they, they're, they're good and solid. Likely I can get it inspected and then chase down that, uh, there is still a problem on it that I'm chasing down. So we'll, we'll, uh, huh. nice looking little car. Okay, that's all for this one for now. Car before I put it in here. And uh, that'll be fine.
that'll be good for a 924 for a bit here. I'll get around to taking it in for inspection one of these days. Hmm. Think about that. Yeah, I guess who's back in the shop? 924 Porsche. 1980, I think. 1979? Yeah, 79, 924. Anyway, it had uh, its running knife. Did that on the 3D printer. Started right up, no problem. A couple of spiders have taken up living on it right there. Time to move out, buddy. And uh, just let it warm up before I shut it off again. So the um, brakes are still not quite right on it. So I've got a couple of things going on. I wonder where, I wonder where my things are. Uh oh. And put them down somewhere safe. Don't you hate it when something goes somewhere safe? Hmm. Oh yeah, here it is. So I bought a new brake thing like that, but it didn't come with a reservoir. This was on the internet, like sixty-five dollars for the whole thing at uh, on eBay, and sixty-five USA dollars. Plus shipping so it gets to be you know 100 bucks anyhow but a new one of these you know just a, just a reservoir was three hundred dollars or something and I also have got that so I've got two experiments going on and then I got this uh, this is like a forty dollar Amazon thing I gotta take it apart and see if the rubbers in here are 20 millimeters like those ones are and if they are I'll use these rubbers in that one so I've got two choices there now to do in here somewhere I think is somewhere down in this box is the other is the new one of those so if I do this is a 944 type of thing here and see it's got two on this side well two here and one there the other the one on the car has got two in the front one in the back so I'll just sort of make the make some hoses to work see what see what comes up yeah that sounds all right now eh? nice and nice and quiet the uh, fuel pump yeah still makes noise but not a bad noise that, that's not howling like trying to catch something on the moon and it seems to be running fairly fairly nice so I'll uh, shut it off and I'll get into the brakes. Yeah, so experiment number one, no good because this is too big a bore for that. So we'll go to experiment number two, which is using that reservoir on that, on the new thing. And it should, like it fits in there, but just not as well not like hmm it fits in but it doesn't have these switches and it doesn't have the same configuration here like here you can see there's one two I wonder what that thing there is for that's the uh, that's the locker so two on that side the other one has two up the front end and one at the back so I'll put the two at the I'll put the two together again at the back and the one at the front but it's on the wrong side right? hmm. oh dear well we'll figure it out yeah I'll put the two together that were together and uh, oh well, we'll see okay here we are over here now I've got the new master cylinder in there used to be there was two hoses to the front and one hose to the back so what I'm going to do is uh, make a line that goes from here and just into there make a line from there into there and then I'm going to put a joiner on it so I can get one of those electric switches on it too and then make a line that goes from here to here. And they're all just uh, copper alloy stuff, whatever they call this stuff. 
copper nickel about that long and I'll bend them to be you know in there without any serious bends in them and then we'll see how things work then I'll put this cover on it I haven't got haven't got that off yet and they're awful hard to get off of them things yeah now just about the whole planet on YouTube has got one of these things right so you don't need to you likely don't need any me to show you anything about that because you put their stuff in there and makes uh, bubble flares and what in this case I want bubble flares in everything except for double flares where where I'm gonna put this joint in that's a double flare and that's a double flare so but everything else is bubble flares for European stuff right okay I'll get at it so there's my first joiner made this one here goes this end goes into the cylinder master cylinder this end joins up to the line that used to be right okay so I'll just do that and I'll show you yeah so here's the hardest one to make up this part here runs a switch and then these ones here hook up the line we'll just see how it how it all looks when it's done here all right there that's uh hmm that was a bit of work to get that done now everything's okay in here now the uh, this one here will actuate the brake lights I hope this one like if I have to put a second one on I'll put it on it's one of those lines and everything is hooked together and tight hopefully nothing leaks we'll just get the uh, reservoir off of that one now I didn't want to take the reservoir off until I knew that this one was gonna fit in there they say this is a bit of an upgrade for the brakes on this car we'll just see oh yeah there it's seven o'clock already and I've just got to the lines are on there I was wondering why I was getting hungry right so I'll leave that till tomorrow and uh, come back to it see how it gets on okay see you later okay here I'm back last night it was seven o'clock all of a sudden so I've got this all put together here this line originally there used to be two lines coming out here right so I put one line to here and the other line that goes to here and then this line here which went to there used to be only one coming out here this line I put to there where there's one line coming out now right or wrong that's how it is now we'll just see how it is and now uh, what do I do now now I gotta I've got that all together see if I can get this plastic thing off of here and that would be the next thing to do hose was coming out the side here for something else and then it's got this uh, thing for measuring the level I might put a light inside the car and just that'll tell me if it uh, is low on fluid right so that, anyhow and there's the little thing but it's pretty clean there now couple of little bits of dirt on the top here I couldn't get out and otherwise not bad now ah, I guess the next thing to do is see if it fits on the fits where it's supposed to fit here yeah it looks like that lines up okay I'll put a little bit of brake fluid on on the both tabs and then I'll stick it in there now is that supposed to be like that or is that supposed to be like that I'm gonna go with that way hmm what's it what's the other one look like it's towards the front is the fill hmm I'll have to uh, look it up on the internet eh? Yeah, there got uh, synthetic dot three, and that just slid on there. I didn't even have to put any fluid on everything, so it slid on and is in a in a happy spot there. So I'll fill it up with fluid and then pump the go pump the thing a bit, and then I'll 
bleed it. I hope. Like I might have to loosen one of these things here to bleed that out right there. Bleed the uh, master cylinder, but maybe not. We'll just see. Now, um, <coughs> so I opened up that one, let it let it drain through a bit. And that one there, let it drain through a bit. And then I checked the brake pedal, and it's got lots of brake pedal. In fact, a really nice brake pedal. And now I'll go and I'll bleed, because I'm pretty sure there's some air in the line, so I'll bleed the note until I get rid of the air, which will be a little while. But there's lots in that reservoir, so I'm sure there's enough to get to the back and, and all the wheels to get the air out of it. That ought to just also change the fluid again, right? Oh, well, we'll do it. Just pump this up to, I don't know, can you see that? 15 PSI. And... Uh, I'm going to let that sit for a little bit, see if anything flows through. It was before, with the old one on, it would bubble air here, so it was leaking somewhere in the world, right? But not bubbling air there anymore, so I think we have a, a good system now. I think that's, that's okay. Now I'll just check and see. Next is to check and see if the brake lights work with that switch on it. Might have If it doesn't, I'll have to put a manual switch on the... On the um, brake pedal but I think that'll work there I'm not sure we'll find out okay I'll just let it set for a bit and uh, then we'll get back to it yeah there it is been sitting there for about 15 minutes and hasn't moved not a, not budged a, a nickel so I'll take this apart and I'll fill up the fluid to the top level and then I'll uh, See if the brake lights work, hey? No, you'll have to tell me if the brake lights work. We'll just see. Now that would appear that the brake lights do work, right? Thanks for your help on that, right? Now I'll just see if all the other lights work still. Blinkers. That should be that one. Okay, now I'll take it for a little test spin out and see if the uh, brakes work the way they're supposed to. But it's a muddy day today, so anyway, dead flies everywhere. So I think everything here is okay. Oh yeah, I have to put this hose back on. Now I had this hose running over the top of that, and you can see where it's scraping on here. So I'll just run it underneath that and that'll stop it from scraping. So as long as everything works okay, which I think it will, I have a spare one of these and I have a spare one of these. That's from a 944. It's slightly used. This is from a 924, 1979. Slightly used. The only thing good on, well, the body is good and I honed it out, it just you can't find a rebuild kit for it. This is very difficult to find, so if you need one of these things, let me know and I'll just send it to you. You can you can pay for shipping or something. Anyway, that's it's raining out, so I'm not taking it outside, right? <laughs> I wonder if the windshield wipers work. They were working last time I checked, so I'm pretty sure everything everything works on it now. It's ready for MVI and uh as far as I can tell, the brakes are working fine, but I'll find out when I take it outside if it ever stops raining. Hmm. Yeah, here we are. So I think I've got it all back together. I'm going to take it out and see if it'll take it for a bit of a test spin and see what happens. Let's see. 
I'll just get in, get in and start it up. If that works for me, I think it will. Okay, here we go. Oh, take a minute here to get you set up so that you don't fall over right away. Which you know you could do. Whoops. Yeah, that's pointing the right way. I thought it was pointing backwards, but it wasn't. Okay, I'll get my feet in here. Brake feels like a real brake. Yeah, that all feels pretty good. Might have to change the uh, configuration on the brakes a little bit so it gets more to the front and less to the back. But I think I've got more to the back and less to the front right now. As far as it goes, it's all right though. So you don't have to don't have to press very hard to get lots. So nineteen seventy nine Porsche nine twenty four. Yay, it's done, I think. I'll have to go and get it inspected now and get a MBI for it. We'll get, I'll load it up on my little trailer and uh, take it in. For now, I'll get the, uh, gonna put this back in the shop or back in the shed and then uh, I'll get 
the Triumph out and get ready to put the motor into it. Oh, that's good. Yeah, there you go. That was all. That's it for this one. The uh, Porsche 924. I think I'm done. Well, no, you're never done because I got to fix. Got to take another run at that dashboard because it was some wrong with that, and uh, got to fix. Eventually, fix the uh, headlight so that it comes on every time, not just sometimes. And and then I'll also like when I take the dashboard out, I'll fix that up. Anyhow, but I think it's ready for an MVI. I can go and get an MVI and slide it past that inspection process and we'll be happy. Okay, so hope you enjoyed it all. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll show you how we do on the road sometime if I ever get it on the road. See you later. Yeah, here we are, June sometime, maybe the 26th. I think it's the 26th. We'll go with the 26th. Anyhow, rain for the last three days, so the uh, heat dome has left us. And it's actually quite a nice day today. A little breeze coming on shore. Not bad. But there's enough rain now that the, the drought is over. It was pretty dry here for a while. This blanket of roses is incredible. Anyway, there you go. Wonder where that dog is. Oh, there he is. There's Buster. Always got his ass to me, right? There you go. He pays attention sometimes. <laughs>